Hey everybody, this is Brandon here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a PlayStation controller to work on your PC. I've been playing a lot of Steam games lately, and there's a few that I'd rather use a joystick uh, gamepad. I don't have a 360 controller, which would be obviously the easier choice, um, simply because most of the games you can just plug and play with those. But, oops, I do have my PlayStation 3 six-axis controller that I don't use because I've got a couple dual dual shocks now. So I've got this plugged in by USB. Uh, you're going to need that first. So when you first plug it in, you're going to get down in the bottom right, you're going to get a pop-up that says it's installing drivers. These are Microsoft's default drivers that it thinks will work for this, but they don't work. Uh, so you're going to need to install a custom driver. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So you're going to go to Google. Uh, you're going to type in motion in joy, one word, and search that. And you can see here the top result. Uh, you're going to go to drivers for Windows. Now this, I'm doing this on a Windows 7 64-bit installation. And I'm going to select the newest version here and download it. You can see it works for 32 and 64-bit all in one. Uh, you're going to click on it, hit save file, and you can see it download. You can see I've already done this. Open containing folder. And you're not going to get, you're going to have one that looks like like this one here. You're going to want to unzip that into this folder. So I'm going to right click. And I use 7-zip. You can use WinZip or WinRare or whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to use extract to MotionJoy 07-1001. And it's going to create this folder here. Now simply run this as admin and hit yes and it's going to install their software so you're going to follow through their little driver installer here and hit next and hit ok and next and next and install and there you go it's finished installing your MotionJoy DualShock 3 driver you hit finish and let it run the tool automatically it's going to take you to their help page here which, if you're having any issues, do check this out. Um, it should be able to get you going. Now you can see down here, it opened it up for me. So mine already shows up as connected, and that's because I've already done this. But for you, you're going to want to go to the driver manager here if your controller doesn't show up. You're going to want to make sure it's plugged in. And once it's plugged in, you're going to see a little driver here, or a it's showing that on your USB port, and this is hub 004, uh, that I have a controller plugged in. Yours won't have this check mark here next to the motion enjoy. So you're going to select it by hitting a check mark there and hit load driver to load it. And when you do that, you can get a little window down here. There it goes. And you want to see success motion enjoy driver successfully installed so once you get that going still thinking you can see my dog Drake over there super entertained right now he fell asleep about 10 minutes ago but I'm sure once I turn on the volume of some games he'll be back up again all right, now go back to profiles, and it should connect your game controller. Uh, if you if it didn't work, try unplugging, plugging it back in, and do the whole driver manager thing again and reinstall it. It should work. Now you can choose which mode you want it to run on. Uh, most games will work with an Xbox 360 controller, so I suggest using selecting this one here. And if you're using the Dual Shock, you can test out here uh, the shock motors and test it here. I don't have one. Well, I do, but I'm not using it for my uh, computer because I don't really like the DualShock on the PC gaming. So, if you're using Battlefield or whatever and you want to use a controller like this one on your PS or PC, definitely try out Motion Enjoy, uh, their gamepad tool. So, now that I've got all this selected, you should be good to go. And just to make sure mine's working, I've got, uh, I'm going to start up Steam here and run. Uh, some Counter-Strike. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. It should have come up. I'm just going to... Actually, I don't really care.
let's just open up a random just gonna run into a random server here and show you that it's working I'll, uh, I'll skip this and poof we're in the game all right now we're in uh, counter-strike source as you can see and I'm using my controller to play counter-strike so you can see this looking right and left with my right joystick moving forwards with the left switch weapons with the bumper and shoot with the trigger crouch with left trigger or left joystick click uh, you can uh, secondary is right now set to the right click I might change that probably to one of my bumpers because they're both right now flip weapons left and right uh, hold on the d-pad left to bring up the menu or scoreboard so as you can see this is a lot more like a PlayStation game not that that's better but if you want to use Steam and a PS3 controller it's definitely doable in like five minutes so thanks for watching and definitely subscribe if you like this hit the like button um, I'll keep you posted on new stuff cheers Bye.